Okay, now we want to do an intuitive hands-on of deep learning. There is a website called Playground TensorFlow with this address, which lets us to create our own network without writing a line of code. Here we have a diagram of the neural network itself and we can play around with it. Actually we can manipulate it like we can add a layer, we can take a layer out, we can add more neurons or we can delete the neurons. Actually we can do whatever that we want. But the task that we want to do is classification task here. The first thing is choosing our data set. Actually there are four different data sets that for the first time we will select the default one which is called uh, circle. Here we can manipulate the percentage of data that we want to use as a training or test. Now we select 60% of our data as a training data set and the rest will be considered as test data set. Data, test data sets are data that system never have seen before. The input layer is simply the X and Y coordinate of points. It's vertical and horizontal position of each data point that we have. We feed these features into our networks. We can see these input nodes are uh, connected with four neurons in our hidden layers. Uh, we can manipulate the weights of uh, these uh, connections between each neuron and uh, What is going to do here is a start a bunch of iterations where it learns from the training data so we are going to keep feeding it input from this training data set and as it goes it will uh, start to reinforce the connection that leads to the correct classification through gradient descent or similar uh, mechanism. So, so let's hit the play uh, button and watch what, uh, what's happened in action. Just uh, keep your eyes on the image in the right side. Alright, you can see that we are already converged on a solution. I can go ahead and just pause it. Okay, we can dive on the uh, solution that we have already here. Actually, we can see that uh, they converge and the test loss is very, very a small value. We have all data point in the mean. The thickness of these connections represent their weights. Here maybe uh, we can see uh, somehow similar weights but here as you see the weights of some connections are more than others at the first layer we can see that uh, some simple features are uh, extracted but uh, in other uh, hidden layer we can see uh, these uh, beautiful curves are visible, more visible. And the final, we can see this classification as an output or a system. Uh, do you think actually uh, we need this neural network to do uh, this classification? Uh, maybe we don't even need deep learning for doing this classification task. So, um, let's just uh, take out one of our uh, hidden layers. So 
with just one layer with four neurons we will hit play button and uh, we will see what happens okay it, it's there so uh, actually we can see that for uh, this very basic problem I don't even need to do deep learning all I have here is a single layer it's not even more uh, multi-layer perceptron it in this layer we just have four uh, different neurons just uh, let me to uh, take out one of the neurons that we have here and see what happens when I just uh, push uh, run button again yeah so uh, we will decrease the number of uh, neurons that we have okay see uh, for solving this uh, classification problem actually uh, I can say that we need at least three neurons in this layer okay let's try a more challenging data set here we have this spiral pattern uh, we will see that this pattern is uh, harder to solve uh, first we will uh, try with these four neurons that we have I will hit this uh, play button With these four neurons, actually, we see that it's trying hard, but uh, it's uh, really uh, struggling. Um, let's see for a while that uh, what's happening. Actually, we know that these uh, four neurons are not enough for uh, doing classification in this task. So let me pause it and uh, uh, I will add more hidden layers and also I will add uh, more neurons to each layer. Uh, let's try with uh, some architecture like this one. Actually uh, this pattern, this architecture is a very common pattern that you can see actually we start with a uh, layer with more neurons at first and uh, kind of we uh, narrow them down as we go deeper and deeper We also can see that uh, at the first layer, mostly simple features are extracted like uh, horizontal, vertical, diagonal. But when we go deeper and deeper, some uh, complex architectures or features will be extracted from the data. As you see, uh, maybe these uh, amount of neurons and uh, hidden layers are not enough uh, for doing this classification let me add more uh, neurons to each uh, layer and uh, run it again Um, we expect that with uh, adding uh, layers and neurons in each hidden layer uh, 
this uh, converge a little bit uh, more quickly with this amount of uh, neurons and hidden layers. Okay. It's trying hardly, as you see, some connections are very thick the weights are high for some connections but uh, some of them as you see are very very narrow okay I, I will add one more uh, hidden layer And let's see what happens now. As you see, our data point has the value of minus one and one. And here you can see the test loss and training loss value. The goal in classification task is minimize this loss function value Let's see uh, other parameters that we have here. Actually, we have this learning rate that is uh, basically the step size in gradient descent that we are going. We have these activation functions here. We have regula uh, regularization that we will not uh, talk about. Maybe we can try uh, ReLU activation function for the next time, but as you see here, actually we uh, converge and we uh, have good results. We can say there is maybe some uh, error here, but actually the result is good. So I will uh, redo it again with the ReLU activation function. Okay, as you see that uh, we have our result here, uh, we can see the result of all each uh, feature, each neuron, but I uh, definitely encourage you to go and play with this uh, playground TensorFlow website it's really powerful and uh, you can understand deeply the concept of deep learning neural network and you can play with different activation function uh, 
two different regular, uh, regularization parameters and actually you can uh, work with classification and regression task you can add noise to your data you can define your batch size you can play with it and uh, you can find very good tutorial on the internet about uh, how it works so enjoy it thank you so much bye